Okay, so as you saw in our previous video, the Tyro 69 here does not fly because this back left motor doesn't spin up. So let me just show you that, what that looks like again. And when you go and try and arm it, you can see the back left motor is not spinning as fast or at all compared to the three, so when you take off it just flips over. So in this video we're going to see how we can test to see if it's the motor or if it's the EC that's bad. Okay, so whenever you have a problem like this with any drone in general, you want to do a continuity test with your multimeter, and it's just a generic one I picked up off of Amazon. Pretty much anyone these should work. You just put into uh, continuity mode, and when there's continuity between the two leads, you get a beep, an audible beep. And so, what you want to do is, for this EC, you want to test the pads and see if any of the three phases goes to either positive or to ground. So, put one lead on, on the positive and we'll just touch each of the pads here. That looks like there's no short there. And then we'll see if there's a short to ground. And we'll see that, yeah, no short, at least to ground or positive on the EC, so there's no continuity there. Now, it doesn't mean that the EC is necessarily good from this test, but it's an indication that there's no nothing like burned out. If something burned out, like a FET burned out, then you get a short and the, you would get an audible tone because you have continuity if that's the case. But I don't think a FET burned out, I think actually it's the motor. So what we have to do now is actually desolder the motor, disconnect it from the EC and connect up a different motor and see if that will spin. So I'm going to take all the props off of course here when we do this testing. Make sure you take your props off and we will, um, I'm going to solder up another, a different motor here, just desolder this one and then we'll see if it's, if the EC will spin that motor. And then we'll, they'll confirm that the motor is bad. So be right back after I do that. Okay, so I just uh, swapped out the motor here for another one. Here's this 1104 6000 KV. Uh, you can see the old motor here. And let's uh, arm it. Yeah, it looks like. Looks like it's working. Let me just put a little bit of a load on there. I'm just going to stick a prop on. Uh, don't do this at kids. Huh? Don't do this at home, kids. This might be bad news if you try this at home. I'm not going to screw it on. I'm not exactly sure which way it's spinning. Let's see here. Yeah, it's spinning. So it was the motor. I'm pretty sure that if I flew like this, it would fly just fine. This motor is spinning fine. I know this motor is good. So this motor lasted about three or four flights. Uh, I'm not sure. It's not a good motor, I don't think. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. I mean, I looked at it. It doesn't look like the wires are cut in any way or any, anything weird. Just the windings look okay. There must be a short somewhere internally. I actually am not exactly sure how to test that. Someone knows, let me know in the comments below. Also, what do you guys think of me flying it like this with a uh, different motor? So these motors are 1104 8600 kV. This is 1104 6000 kV. Do you think it'll fly? Yes or no? And do you think I should fly it like this? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, so if you have a motor or EC problem like this where it's not spinning like properly, this is how you can test to see if uh, it's the motor or EC. You just basically have to you know, do that test with a multimeter and that will ch tell you if there's a short in the ESC. If you have a short to positive or ground, then you know that for sure the ESC is probably no good. Uh, but then if, uh, and then in my case here, I needed to actually swap the motor out to confirm that it was actually the motor. So hopefully this video will help you guys out. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.